All right, we're doing it. I'm finally succumbing. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try these K these K-pop chicken nuggets. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey, can I get these uh, K-pop chicken nuggets? The, this BTS meal. Sure, just one. Yeah, just one. Um, and then can I also get uh, the barbecue and sweet and sour on the, as well as the other sauces? Thirteen twenty-one for K-pop chicken nugs. Thank you. Oh. Nice one. Yeah, smooth move, eh? Thanks. <laughs> Left my debit card in the machine, so the guy ran it to the next window, and then the guy in the window just straight up chirped me. He goes, nice one. <laughs> I like that energy. I like that energy. Shout out to the guy <laughs> beaking me at the window. That's dope. All right, y'all, quick impromptu. Bag is secured. We have succumbed to the K-pop nuggets. Just had to happen. I'm out and about, I'm on the move, and it's like a nice light little meal just to eat, you know, medium fried, 10 nuggies. It doesn't hit the belly too hard, you know what I mean? So, like I said, mainly I just want to try these sauces because these sauces are always on my intrigue as a saucy guy. But you all know when it comes to sauce, I got to make it a shootout between the new ones. So it's a sweet chili heat and a Cajun. And then we're going to have to obviously compare them against that of a barbecue and a sweet and sour. My classics. Now you could get hot mustard, you could get, uh, I don't know what else there is. Is there hot mustard, maybe just honey packets or whatever, but these are my two nug sauces, my two favorites. So I wanna pit, uh, pit these nuggets up against the new ones. Now, listen, I don't mean to come off as a hater here on these on this meal. My whole thing is this, like, when it comes to this like celebrity shit and you're gonna make these meals, like why can't there just be a little more creativity in the kitchen? You know what I'm saying? Like your celebs, your big budget, you got like the 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 pull with McDonald's. Like not everybody gets into that position in life where you got motherfucking pull with McDonald's. So like Travis Scott, for example, all those things. It's just like why why don't we just get a little more a little more creative is my only thing that's all i'm saying but we're gonna wet the beak with the diet coke i think the original meal calls for a coke but of course they got it all branded out in their in their uh, k-pop ways now i i don't i don't even know if they're k-pop because i know nothing of this band bts i don't even know what it stands for I don't know anything about it. All I know is that kids, I think, go crazy for them, uh, for the most part. And I would imagine uh, Korean people. Um, and that's cool. I just have no idea what they mean to the world and why McDonald's made food with them. But let's try. So here's a sweet sweet onion or sweet chili what am i saying sweet onion sweet chili i do dig the black container for some reason i think it's actually pretty sick a lot of sweet chili sauce pretty standardized sweet chili and chicken go together pretty often all right She's sweet with a kick, of course. That's the point, sweet chili heat. It's a good one though. It's the Cajun sauce, kind of orangey. Uh, definitely mayo based. It smells kind of mayo hot mustardy. That's very interesting. I can't, oops. I can't tell like what makes it Cajun. This spice. Oh, kind of just tastes like a 
like a hot mayo mustard type deal. Definitely got some kick to it. Both of them. I'm dying. I had to kick on a little AC right now because it's so hot out. Beautiful day. Very, very unreal. What are you, what are we talking about here, bro? Why? Very, very unreal day out right now. Just cut the yard, feeling fresh. Sweet and sour. Is it instantly the best? Yes, dude. It is. Because sweet and sour on a chicken nugget is made for each other. Sweet and sour on a chicken nugget is, is pea and veggie type shit. Like it is designed to go together. BBQ on a nugget. It's amazing. But is it designed the same as sweet and sour on a nugget? No. I can definitely say that's a resounding no. Now on my way here, I had a weird thought that has nothing to do with any of this. But I was cooking down this main roadway, right? And in traffic, it's a, it was a two lane. I hate, I, I do my best to, to like weave through and get through people to the point where I'm not in a traveling pack. Like I hate being in a traveling pack. I love to either be at the very front of the pack or just alone in driving. Like I try to not be around or in between the middle of cars and shit because that's how you like end up in accidents is because other people are doing weird shit and like you have to react to them and stuff. Whereas like if you're just ahead of the pack and you're leading the pack of cars, it's like free and open road kind of thing. So the speed limit's 60, most everybody travels 70 and then in order for me to duck and dodge and get around everybody, I had to kick it to 80 to just to get around and then drop it back down a bit. I don't know what's going on with my vehicle right now. It's just dinging at me. Um, wow, really? Yeah, we get it, bud. We understand. So I zip zap past and I get to the front of the pack. And I'm always thinking like, how many times Does like a police officer, an off-duty police officer, and if anybody watches me as a police officer, how many times do you be off-duty and somebody's just crushing the speed, like just to get past you, like way, way too much, you know, ahead, and you as a police officer in your car as a civilian being like, I can't do shit to this and and like and how much does it bother you do you care you know what i mean or are you just like whatever i'm off duty or does your like your inner cop be mad at the scenario but just knowing that you're in civilian you're you're off duty you're like you know oh this guy's just an asshole or whatever right I don't know why I was just thinking about that. Is how much of your cop self transfers to your civilian self regarding like, you know, small infractions like that, like a guy speeding past you, but you're out of your uniform. Just a thought I had. All right, did we even remember that where there were fries with this? I guess we gotta have a few fries together or what? That's definitely a convenient little fry boat though. I'll tell you that. ASMR bro fold and pinch. 
That's his tactic. BBQ. Very good tactic. I guess we'll do a shootout with these on the fries too. Why not? You got the sweet and sour, which I usually always get. For the fries as well. All right. Cajun persuasion. Actually quite solid because of the mayo base I love mayo on fries anything mayo based on fries and then we'll do the sweet chili sweet chili hate on the fries Cajun's better out of the two for the fries for the nuggets Sweet chili works better than the Cajun. So we're backwards. Duality. Yin and yang. As above, so below. Freemasonry. Oh, can't say that too loud in the YouTube world. We get my channel shut down. Once again, though, still the best. Reigning supreme on everything is the sweet and sour. Best on fries, best on chicken. Nothing beats it. No idea how McDonald's makes their sweet and sour, but it is crackle pan 100%. That concludes our little boat of fries, smashed. And that concludes the meal that I never thought I'd really do, to be honest. But here I am, just a sucker, you know? But you know what? It was good. It was interesting. I do like the uh, the introduction of the new sauces. I would imagine that McDonald's would never keep them to stay. Obviously, I think it would just be a limited time thing, a limited time thing. And uh, I mean, they're all right. They're nothing special. It's a sweet chili heat. Like we've had it all before. They sell it in every grocery store. And then the catered one was, yeah, nothing special all in all nothing special but definitely good to try definitely like a different different sauce so that's my take on it nothing crazy nothing to write home about but give it a try if you if you're into sauce like i am self-admitted sauce horror but anyways i'm gonna end that one here uh once again impromptu quick one till the next one you know what to do eat good live well and stay true